I'm Desiree Fortin. And I'm Ava Walker. For a kindergarten PBL, we are working on rocks and soil. And, and the problem is, every time it rains, it floods our garden. Now we would like to interview Miss Sharon to see what will help our garden to stop flooding. Well, that's a big question. I think um, I probably would put some, maybe some small pebbles or maybe pebble rocks, river rocks down there and then cover it with some sand underneath the good nour nourishing black dirt. And that might help soak up some of the water or let it go down deeper into the earth so that the uh, good soil doesn't get stay wet all the time. I would go and look at a plant store for soil that is a uh, nice black soil like you might find up in the northern states that grow good vegetables. And it should probably have some uh, loam in it or some hum humus and be sure to check the bag out. It says garden soil on there. Sometimes it says even for vegetables. That'll help you understand if you're just looking for special words like vegetable and garden soil. Sharon, what can we build to be able to make the water from planting our garden? Oh, I noticed you've done a good job of making the gardens up above the earth. I mean, up above your uh, grassy area out there where, they're, uh, where you walk on the normal grass out there. And they've been built up. I think what I would do is make Put a little area that's got more sand and dirt and maybe a, like a tunnel. There's some black um, plastic that you can get to put in there that has holes in it and that would take some of the water off and then be sure that there's a hole in the uh, framework of your garden out there that has a hole in it so the water could run out and run away from there if there's getting to be too much. Like the last couple of days we've had a lot of rain and it would benefit from having a place to go to run away from your um, plants so they don't get too soaked up. What soil makes the plant grow? I would go and look at a plant store for soil that is a uh, nice black soil like you might find up in the northern states that grow good vegetables. And it should probably have some uh, loam in it or some hum humus and be sure to check the bag out. It says garden soil on there. Sometimes it says even for vegetables. That'll help you understand if you're just looking for special words like vegetable and garden soil. How can we stop our plants from dying? Stop your plants from dying. We have to be sure that they're in a lot of sunlight because they need that sunlight for some nutrition. And be sure that the soil, the new black soil that you're adding to your clay, uh, Georgia red clay soil has a lot of nutrients in it has a lot of good food or fertilizer to fertilize the um, plants that are growing. Some people even like organic food. That means when there's not too much special things in there, just making it more natural to grow. That should, that should help you. And plus having the uh, rocks to drain off some of the water and the sand. Thank you, Miss Sharon for coming to the CAE and teaching us about rocks and soil. I enjoyed coming. I came from the Dunwoody Nature Center and I enjoyed watching you uh, make the snakes with the red clay and learning about which soil can stick together better and you even learned how to make soil, or the sand rather, from the, um, the animals in the ocean that make the sand at the beach. And then we had rocks that we were able to make some soil and some um, uh, sand with too today. So that was great. We learned how to, weathering helps break down our rocks. Thanks for bringing me. Can I come back again? Sure, sure. Anytime. Anytime, great. Anytime you want. I'll just drop by, okay?